Hi, this is Sharon from Sharon's Scrappy Space, and I'm excited to show you how to make this cute little lollipop tree. First, you're going to start with a simple uh, tree base. Like I said, I got this at my store uh, at the store for a dollar, and I also got some just suckers, and I wanted something that kind of had a nice little pastel color for spring and uh, something cheap. I got these at the dollar store as well. And that was at Dollar Tree. It's in the, all this is in the Easter section right now. And I'm going to show you how I uh, did the branches. Now, some of these are in twos or threes. Um, I'm looking to put these in threes. Uh, so I'm just kind of separating it so that uh, I can, now these are going to be a couple of twos and I'm going to show you how I added uh, some of them. Okay, now I do have some extra of these. Um, I just bought some extra trees and uh, you know, you always play with something and you have to, you know, do it over. So I had, I have some of these and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, kind of, this one here needs the, the two again, or the three. If you put only two, I'm going to tell you right now, it's not going to hold your lollipops. So uh, either uh, two or three or four of the wires really does a better job at holding it. And all I'm doing is twisting this like just to make it stronger and there's a little piece here that's kind of left over I'm just going to wrap it around like that okay all right so now we've got our little pieces coming out Now, I do have some extra white floral tape, and that's how I'm going to uh, wrap these. So, I'm just going to bend these out of the way until I get this wrapped like I want. going to turn my pot and just work it all the way up so it kind of gives it a nice finished look like I didn't tear some of these off you know where they're that off and finish it off and so you can't even tell that I uh, sort of mutilated, mutilated the tree there now I added my ribbon after I'm gonna show you it's easier to add your ribbon before so I'm just going to go ahead and lay this down so you can see what I'm doing I'm just going to wrap it around the center here and it's it's not you know a straight edge it's you know kind of at an angle and I'm going to do the same towards the bottom here so I'm going to put the ruffled pleated So we're just going to uh, start laying this down and I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and center it there best I can. Oh, 
Okay, so what we're going to need are two punches. I've got the Blossom uh, Punch, and this is from the Occasions Mini, and the Five Petal Flower Punch. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, and I'm going to show you, right. you're going to need a lollipop stick. So you're going to stick this to the base of your tree like that. So you just butt it up this way and wrap it around. You don't want to have it wrap long. You want it to be, you know about the size of your lollipop stick. So, and then you're just gonna pull it out like that. You're gonna do that to all of these, okay? Okay, so now we've got our little uh, tree made. I've got all of the branches wired with at least three of the wires. And I've got the ribbon on and everything. So, I have already made a uh, bunch of flowers. I'm going to need 13 for these, for this particular one. I'll put three in the base and then I've got nine stems. So it can vary uh, based on how many wires you have and how they fit together. Now I wanted to show you, uh, I've got a ton of these little guys. So you can actually stick these all together. I use the large size of the crocodile and punch. So you can get all your punching done at once. Now, as for the uh, curling of the leaves, because I curl all the leaves of the flowers, you can do those in uh, little thick stacks as well. So I've got at least six or seven here. And in a large stack like this, you wanna have them all fit together like this. So you can kind of work your punch in there and get it into the center like that. Okay, so I've taken out two of them and I've got the other four together. Cause we're just gonna curl the, the uh, petals of two of the flowers, not all three. If you want to do all three, you can. Okay, so basically when you put these together, you're going to uh, start with the smaller petals here. You want to make sure that your lollipop is really on there well. You, you could put some scotch tape on there, but I've just put it on and kind of get my little uh, lollipop there and just let it kind of tear over. You can't tell it because it, the lollipop's going to cover it up. So, and so the first petal is going to be curled up. The second one, and we're going to stagger them. It's going to go like this, and the last one will curl down. So it'll give you, you know, a little bit more of a fullness and I actually kind of fold them a little bit too to just to give it a little bit more of a curl. And then we're going to fit two of our leaves over. And we're going to alternate those as well. And I just kind of help uh, that last one to curl down around. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. And you wanna make sure that you kinda put your flowers to where you don't have all purple on one side. I start with the flowers here, and I put them in a, at a angle. Sometimes it's kinda hard to get them to go in. You give them a really good shove. And Okay, so now we're gonna put our next flower in. And you see I have three different color of lollipops. I've got the flowers are different co different colors and all. So, and that fills up our base. We'll put some greenery in here as well. So, we'll just start putting our lollipops on.
Okay, so now we've got our last flower. Let's see if I can get it in here. And there we go. That is so cute. So next with our little uh, flowers, I've already got them torn. And I try to weave these on. And believe me, it is not an easy thing to do. So really, I think it's better just to go ahead and uh, cut them. And then just wrap them around. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I did the last part of this. Now I've got six of the leaves, two for in between each of the flowers in the flower pot. I've already done two of these brads with, on toothpick. So I'm just going to stick this brad in between here to open it up like that. So I can stick my toothpick in between. And that sticky strip's going to hold it in place. And I'm going to put another layer of it on over. Okay. Now I've already curled my flowers. I use the small end of the crocodile, the punch here. And we'll separate it a little bit like that. And now we can just stick this in in between our flowers. And with that brad, it won't show up. That top part of it won't. Peeling the sticky strip off the middle. And I'm going to use Marina Mist this time to make my bow. And I don't know, I've got maybe a couple of feet here. Okay, so now I'm going to put my little bow on. And... I'm just going to line it up as straight as I can around. So first what we're going to do is you got your one on the right, take it over the top, the left one down, pull it around. Now you're going to have this kind of little tail here. You're going to twist it like that. And you don't want any folds in it either. And then the bottom, you're going to make a loop. You're going to come over the top and you're going to pull this, start pulling it tight. Now you don't, you don't want your, your middle there to get too wrinkled, so this is the time to straighten that out. And you're going to have to play with it. So I want my little tails to hang down. I'm going to put my fingers in it so that it doesn't... Uh, put fold lines in my ribbon and I'm holding my knot so it does not uh, come undone. All right. And so now we're just going to trim off the sides. I like a nice big bow on the front. All right. So my Suckers want to kind of lay down, but uh, that's kind of the best way I can show you. All right, so we've got our cute, cute little lollipop bouquet. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Check out my website at SharonScrappySpace.com for more ideas and tutorials on using Stampin' Up! products. I've also got a brand new line of uh, punch storage cabinets and they are just really awesome to hold the new flat uh, type of punches. So check out my website at SharonScrappySpace.com and I look forward to next time. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.